Hey everybody, it's Carrie, and I'm getting ready to come back and play with glass with you. But I wanted to give you a little bit of rundown of what we're going to be doing because we've got a lot planned in this third session to get everything laid out and prepared for our final build day. We are going to be cutting glass. We're going to have a cutting station and we're going to have parent volunteers helping you at the cutting station because the tools we're using this time are going to be a little bit different and it takes some hand strength to use them. How much hand strength? Well, technically to break glass, you need eight pounds of pressure. So if you have a scale at home that weighs pounds, you can put your hand on it and push down until you see that eight pounds and then remember how much pressure that is, right? It's not easy to do, but the more you practice, the better you get. And that's why we're gonna have parent helpers. They're gonna be able to help you and they're gonna get really good really fast because they're gonna be helping all of you. So first of all, at our cutting station, we're gonna have safety glasses. So very important that we put our safety glasses on to protect our eyes. And I've got this fancy board set up here. I will have it marked so that we can cut half inch tiles from some pieces that I am prepping for you. Why half inch, you say? Well, half an inch is the width of the backer boards that we're gonna be using for our mosaic. And these pieces are going to go around the borders, the very edges of our mosaic. And they're also gonna be design lines that outline the main characters in our mosaic. I've got the half inch mark there, and I think you can see it, but before we get started, I'm going to show you what I'm doing to prepare for you and also probably why I'm preparing so that you'll see. The skinnier the pieces that I'm trying to cut, and I want to cut these to about a quarter of an inch or three-eighths of an inch. It's really thick glass. This is all recycled glass that has come from interior design shops that were making something with mirror and then didn't need the rest of it. So we save it at the stained glass shop and then we can use it for mosaics. It's a little thicker than most of the glass that we work with, so it's a little harder to cut, which is why I'm doing this first part in preparation for you. So I'm taking all of the mirror and cutting it down. I take my hand on the pistol grip glass cutter. This is like a little, if you put your finger out like you're using a laser gun, and then you open your finger right there. This goes right in there, and then your finger's there to guide it. You can see how I'm holding it, right? And then we go right next to the bar. Well, we have this cute little cutter slide. You can use this. This is kind of like training wheels to make sure that you aren't turning your tool too far to the side because if you are, it won't move. So one hand is gonna go on the glass that we're cutting. The other hand is gonna go on the, the glass cutter. We start as close to the edge as we can. Don't worry about getting too close to the edge. Just close will do and then pull all the way towards you. And let's see if you can hear as the glass scores. Did you hear that? I pulled it all the way across, and now I'm gonna move that score line over to my mark. My mark is this first wall on the board here because I'm cutting skinnier pieces for you. And hopefully I get these all to break off successfully for you when I show you how it's done coming up next. So I'm gonna cut these off in groups of four because if I cut them off in groups of four, the glass is more likely to break where I tell it to. The smaller piece of glass is the one that's more likely to break. So as we do this, can you see my score lines there? I'm gonna break these off all together. To break them, I put my running pliers, my running pliers, I put them right on that line and that line on the running pliers is going to line up right with the score line that I'm trying to break. The screw is going to be up and this allows me to push up underneath and down on either side to break the glass right where I told it to. Now I'm going to take this group and break it in half again. This cut should still go where I want it to. Perfect. But this is the tricky cut, which is why I'm cutting these strips for you because this doesn't always wanna break where I tell it to. Oh, that one I got lucky it did. Let's cross our fingers and hope this one goes for me where I want it to again. 
Ready? Uh-oh. It doesn't want to break. Uh-oh. I'm going to flip it around to the other side and see if I have more luck with it. Uh-oh. So that is what happens sometimes. Sometimes the glass doesn't break where you told it to. But as you're cutting glass, you should have no problems. The glass should break right where you tell it to because I'm getting these pieces cut off for you. So if we do end up with any pieces like this when we're cutting, you can still use them. You'll just use them a little bit differently. Parent helpers are going to be standing behind you. They might actually be standing over top of you and helping you to push down on the glass as you cut. This is really important. We're gonna take the glass and line it up with that line that we have there. That's gonna give us a half, an, half of an inch. And then you can use the cutter slide if you want to put your tool right down in there and then just push down. And then you're gonna take that line and move it over to that mark again. So we can push down again like that and then we're gonna move that over again and push down again, just like that. If you have a spot where the glass is overlapping like that, you can make a score across the two of them. And we can just keep cutting it all the way till the end. Now, I'm gonna try and prepare these so that you don't have anything that's really wonky like that because it's gonna be hard to put that against the bar. We want to make sure that the flat side is against the bar so that we get a nice perpendicular cut. If we put that side against the bar, look at how it's kind of off. You see that gap there? There's a gap there and it's not going to be perpendicular, that nice square angle, right? So we can bring that in and push down, make that cut, and then we can push it over again. Now, if I run out of room over here, I might need to take another piece of glass and hold it in place. Or I might need to take my finger over here to hold the glass in place when I cut. So this will be a little bit tricky, but with parent helpers, we should be able to figure it out. Now that I've got these all cut, it's time, or all scored rather, it's time to cut them. We're going to have our tubs again. I'm going to have a little mini tub here, but we're going to have our bowls and we're going to cut into those. We're going to try and cut over near the cutting station so that all of the glass shards stay in the waffle grid here, hopefully. Now to use the running pliers, you saw me use these before, and the secret behind this is I've made a score, and if you can see, whoopsie, how there's a little bend, right? A little bend. It's a little frowny face. If you can look at these and they're frowning at you, then they're gonna cut the right way. Because that score line, I want to push up underneath and down on either side. That's what I'm doing with this tool, is lining that line up on the top with the score line I created, and then holding back as far as possible and giving it a nice squeeze. And then I should get a lot of little rectangles that will work perfectly as the border pieces for our mosaic. If I have a couple together, I can turn them sideways and see if I can coax them into breaking as well, right? So that's our cutting station. You all are gonna get one strip of glass to cut and you're gonna have an adult helper cutting you. After you're done with that, you'll rotate out and everybody will get a chance to cut. But we've got another couple of projects that we're working on at the same time during this class period. So. Very important that you remain focused and you're able to get to the cutting station, get what you need to get done, done there, and then we'll move aside to the next project. All right, I'm excited to work with you guys.